All right, welcome back. So we are now in level nine of Tomb Raider 1, which is the Tomb of Tohoken. So we're going to be visiting another tomb. Uh, this one, uh, we've just dropped in from the cistern, so we still have elements of the cistern gameplay with some ideas. Um, so we're going to start off by dropping into the water. Um, all right, here we go. So we're going to swim uh, through this corridor and we're going to come out into an area and initially you might freak out and think, well, there's nowhere to go. So we're going to go straight forward and then we're going to go down, turn back on yourself until we reach this lever here. We're going to pull the lever, turn around and then we can make our way back the way we just came. Now we have some air, we're all good, everything should be fine, thank goodness, right. As we make our way out of the water, it's quite loud this water, I'm going to pull this lever. And we're going to choose some weapons because we're going to be face to face with an enemy very very soon. So as we walk down this corridor, or run rather, Gonna kill the croc, run through, and we're gonna be in this room. Now you notice that the walls are green, so another nod to the system where we just were. You'll also notice this block. Now, as I say before in my previous um, level walkthrough, the textures in my game will look different to yours depending on the version that you are using. This is the Tombati version with the HD texture, so it does look different. So I think in the original, that block is just grey. So we're going to enter into a dart trap. Now, we haven't seen these for a little while, have we? Probably not since uh, Qualipec. So the way that I try and deal with this one is we're going to jump to this centre pillar here. We're going to do a jump and a grab. And then we're going to shimmy over to this corner here. Until Lara stops, we're going to pull ourselves up, and then the dart trap has begun. Now, the thing is, if you jump over and do a run and jump, you land right in the middle, and then you get skewered by these darts. So, we're going to do a run and jump over to this platform here, um, avoiding the darts if you can. So, once you wait for them to cross and then make safe passage. So, I'm going to try my best to do that and not get hit by the darts. And watch me absolutely stuff that up. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous now. That'll do. Alright. And then we're going to make a run and jump over to this platform here. We jump over the darts. Lovely. So once we hop up into this area, we can pull this lever and we're going to flood the area with a tidal wave. Hop back, drop down, and we're going to hop down again. Notice the block has raised or floated upwards somehow. The stone floats in the water. Not sure how that works, but we're going to drop beneath it and pick up a small med pack, which is revealed by the tongue below. Now, obviously, if you're not interested, don't you don't need to. You can just jump straight onto the block and um, we can go. So we're going to go through the passageway opened by the block and then we're going to find another tunnel of water similar puzzle to earlier we're going to swim straight down to this grate and then find an underwater lever and this is going to switch the current so that we can leave this area that was where we just came from so follow this long tunnel down and then a current is going to take us woohoo oh yeah yeah we are going oh well what a rush all right there's a rat in here so choose some appropriate weaponry get eaten by the rat don't do that I didn't realise that she'd put the weapons away when I got out. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, he's dead. We're going to notice that there's a push, bo uh, push box 
We're going to pull it once. And that should be sufficient for us to escape. I'm going to hop back and jump up. Now, my practice at this level went really, really well. So I expect that now that we're doing the actual thing, it's going to go terribly. So we're going to make our way up to this. There's no other items in here. There's no items over there in that area. I'm going to continue climbing up. And we're going to jump over to this uh, block here. Now, you're going to notice that there's an axe and some shotgun shells there. We can pick those up now, so, um, you know, it's a run and jump and a grab. So tap back, run, jump, grab, and then we can pick up the shotgun shells. Now, you can do a skip here if you don't want the secret. You can just jump through this doorway right here. You can jump, so you can jump from here and grab, and you can continue with the level. You skip Pierre and you skip a secret. Alternatively, you can get the secret, which we're going to do because we want the secret, we want the items, we want all the stuff. So we're going to face Pierre. Now, I'm going to save just in case he owns me. Hopefully he won't, but it's Pierre, so he might do. I'm going to use my shotgun because it only takes a couple of shots for him to leave. So I'm going to jump into this. There he is. Now, he may well have already gone. doing that thing right i'm gonna escape right he should hopefully have gone oh i hate him he's such a horrible man <laughs> right okay hopefully pierre has disappeared but if you get oh yeah there's a clang clang door but if you get stuck on these stairs with him it can be a nightmare so you want to try and get as we've discussed before, away. Those are quite loud, so I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Okay. So, clang clang doors. We're going to walk as close as we can without getting damaged. And then on bosh we're gonna run through fish bash bosh fish bash bosh ready fish bash bosh and we made it nice you can roll whatever you feel comfortable with oh thank goodness they've stopped all right so we're gonna encounter a crocodile in here this is our secret room sometimes he's right down in the corridor sometimes it takes him a little while oh there he was Okay, right, he's done. Uh, we're going to pick up some ammo in here. There's some shotgun shells on the stairs here. Are you thinking, oh, there's so many goodies in here. This is so great. Now, the textures will look slightly different, but the tiles are in the same place. We're going to uh, notice that there's something funny going on with this wall over here. We're going to step on the tiles. Now these are the same in the in the actual game. So they look slightly different to the rest of the floor. You don't need to jump to them, you just need to stand on them. And as long as you stand on all of the funny tiles, the door will open and then we can go and get the secret. So the secret chimes is a jump puzzle. So we're gonna backflip onto this one, jump, 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 grab. And then we're going to pull ourselves up and get some shotgun shells and a large medi. Nice. And down we go. Alrighty. Secret achieved. Okay, so when we go back, we do have to... We're going to notice that 
there's some areas up here. We're going to be in this room, but in a different context shortly. The clang clang door is still going to be active when we leave. So we do have to go through that again. We're going to use the bish bash bosh again. You're going to see it before we get there. Look, look at that nasty thing. I'm not uh, convinced that I'm as close as I can be without being damaged by the door, so... Alright. So on Bish Bash Bosh, we're gonna run on Bosh. Bish Bash Bosh. Okay, good. Well done. Whew. Lord almighty. Right. Uh, as we exit, we're going to roll and grab to land onto this. And the dev intended way is to go via the axe. I do have a dog. Sorry if you heard that. I think he just scratched himself. Dog and a cat and everything. We're going to do a run, jump and grab. Woohoo! Alrighty. Uh, and then... We're going to do this rather toxic jump. I am probably going to save it though because I don't enjoy doing this jump at all. It doesn't make me <laughs> happy. Um, so I'm going to stand sort of on the edge of the square. I'm not convinced that I'm far enough back, but here we go. And then as the blade leaves, we want to avoid the blade. And then grab and pull yourself up. Lovely jubbly. Well done. Whew. All right. So now we're going to be above the room. We're going to turn around and grab this ledge. We're above the room that we were earlier with the crocodile and the secret. We're going to shimmy across until we get to an area that we can pull up into. And then we're going to pull a lever, which is around this corner. <coughs> and then we're going to turn around and drop down. And you'll notice that the room is now flooded. So we can drop down safely. You notice the secret door is closed. You can pick up those items if you didn't get them earlier, but you can't get the secret anymore. We're going to kill this rat. And then we're going to drop down into some more water here. This is going to take us out to an area with a lion. So we're going to want to choose uh, some weapons that you feel comfortable using. There's going to be a lion come through the door somewhere. Where is she? She has sadly passed away now, and we're going to go through one of these doors, either side, it doesn't matter. And we're going to pull this lever, otherwise we'll have to come back down and do it. Alright, that's opened a door somewhere. Now, this next bit is a little bit toxic, so we need to go up, and up there is some gorillas. Now, you can either stand here and pick them off. Or you can go up there with the shotgun and blast them away. Whatever. This is probably the safest way to do it, but it's also the longest way to do it. If you're feeling yolo -y, you can just jump up there with a shotgun. I'm just going to try and get myself a bit of distance. Before he does that. Because they do like to push you off the edge. Yeah. Oh, 
All right. Um, yeah, there we're good. Okay, so now that he's done, we're going to notice that this is the door that we opened with the lever. And we don't want to fall down here, so just be really careful when you're here. We want to walk to this edge, and we want to jump and grab this crack, and then shimmy across into the doorway. And then while we're in here, we can pick up a large med pack and a gold key. Oh, and you have to be exactly over it, otherwise you just will not pick it up. Alright, now as we leave, as I say, you don't want to fall into the spikes. So we're going to do a jump and a grab. So we can slide into the ceiling, and then we're going to fall down here. And then into this area. So this will randomly make a secret chime noise, depending on what game you have. It's not a secret, it's just a random... It makes a random noise. I don't know why. It's it's very odd. Okay, so there's no items in the water. But using the key... And then we have a splash sound. <laughs> using the key will raise these blocks so we can traverse this area. So make your way across. And then there's a small med pack as a reward. Lovely jubbly. Thank you, Lara. And as we enter this room, we're going to notice there's lots of lo uh, closed doors, two keyholes, and then these funny tiles on the floor. We have a push block. So we're going to use the push block to activate these tiles. We're going to push it forward twice. <laughs> And we're going to tap back and jump on the top because we're going to release a gorilla. I'm going to actually shoot him with my pistol so that I don't use up all of my shotgun ammo because I would like to keep that for later. Okay, he's dead. Poor guy. Alright, so he opened this door down here. There's just some items in here just to pick up. So you don't actually need to to use that if you don't want the items. However, you get some magnum clips and some shotgun shells, so why not? Now, if you were doing this and you just wanted the key items, you don't need to use this trigger pad here, I believe. You only need to use the three, so... But we are going to get everything and all of the stuff, so we're going to pull the block back twice to open another door. That's going to open this door here. I recommend that you save it, just in case. This is one of those things, done it a hundred times, but you never know. Could be the day where it all goes wrong. We're going to run in. Two steps, jump. <laughs> and then we're going to pick up a rusty key. Now, there's two boulders in here, so if you run in, you run the risk of getting squished, and you might get trolled by this med pack. So don't pick up the med pack until you have picked up the key, and the boulders have gone. Now, this next room is the troll room, and you don't really need it unless you want the kills and all of the items. So, this is unnecessary. You don't have to do this. You can skip pushing it onto this block, square, whatever, tile. It's going to release four rats. Where's the last one? And then there's a small med pack. And then we're on to our final tile, pressure pad, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. You choose, it's your game. We're going to just push it forwards. Da, 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 da. Uh, 
All right, and then we're going to jump up into this final door to collect our final item. Now, easy does it, because there's some clang clang doors. Okay, so once again, and we've also released the gorilla. <laughs> Good for us. Close as you can. Going to run on Bosch. Bish, bash, Bosch. Pick up the med pack. And the key. They are going to start again. So again, I find the bish bash bosh works, but that's just me. Bish bash bosh. Alright. Now, there is a gorilla down there. So the other door that opened was this one here and there's just shotgun shells in here. There's nothing else. I thought it had something else in it but I was mistaken. So it's just shotgun shells and now we can use our keys and we're actually not that far from the end of this level. So after using both rusty keys, now we can enter the end part of this level, but we're going to collect a secret before that. We're going to save though, because this secret is kind of tricky to get. And I keep stuffing it up. <laughs> so the sequence is jump, slide, jump, slide, I believe. So I want to head towards, there's like a, before the first peak, I suppose, we want to slide down there. And then slide into this gap here. Okay, so if you stuff it up, don't panic. Just keep jumping side to side to side to side. Sorry if that made you feel dizzy and veer so that Lara eventually can jump over here and land on this slot slope so that she slides into this area. Okay, it can be rescued, so don't panic. So just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. If you land on the slope that goes down into the middle, so this, hang on. So this slope, that one in the middle that just goes straight down, which we will be visiting later, then you need to veer off either one of the sides so that you can get back onto the edges of it so you can get into this area. Now, to get this secret, it's too high for you to drop down and run across the other side and the jump secrets can be a bit tricky as well. So the easiest way that I've found to do it is to walk to the edge, tap back, and we're going to jump and grab now you see, the breakaway tiles, they don't crumble if Lara is grabbing onto the edge. So we can hang here for a little while. We're going to pull up and we're going to immediately run and jump. And then we're going to grab, pull up again, and then we're going to do a jump. And then we've got our secret. Well done. So Uzi clips, some magnum ammo, and then we're going to drop down safely. Now, you think, why can't I just grab that? It's like one click too high, so she can't she can't grab it. But we can get out this side, so we can we can definitely get out this side. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna continue on our journey down the slope. Whee! Just keep swimming. There's a crocodile. Oh, he got me. Oh, he gets stuck sometimes. Okay, this is how we're doing this, apparently. 
Okay, he's dead, thank goodness. So, um, <laughs> usually he just swims around. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with him recently. I don't know why. So we're going to go into the cave system beside that little platform there. Don't worry about the rest of the area. Don't worry. We're going to go into here. And we're going to see that, you know, this is quite a cavern, isn't it? The look is crazy in this game. It swings around everywhere. We're going to slide down, jump, and then make it onto that platform, hopefully. Oof. All right, well done. I'm going to jump up and pull this lever. Now, where the heck is that? You'd be right. Don't know. Somewhere. It's somewhere. Still think my um sewing is a little loud. All right. So we're going to drop down safely into the water. Ooh, lovely. And there's a little opening right near where we drop down. Turn right and then you'll find another little cave. We're going to swim down and then out into this cave area. So I just want to show you where we are. So as you swim up, this is where you'll see a temple or a tomb. That area there, through that little gap, that was where we shot the crocodile. So you can swim directly into here. There's like a little beach kind of area. Now, where was the door we opened? Well, from looking at this platform here, we're going to turn right and then we're going to drop down back into the water. And you see this sort of nub. There's like a like nub that sticks out. Swim under there and head straight for the wall. And then there's an opening. If you swim up into it, you'll find the area where we opened that door. Now the switch is on the door side, if that makes sense. So the way the door's open, that is where the switch is. So we're going to pull this one. And that's going to open the door to the temple. Now, this is important. Don't pull up onto the temple platform when you get there. All right, we're going to go to the beach or the area of land before it. So pop back into the water. We just need to give ourselves a little bit of prep time, you know. So we're going to swim out and then underneath the structure of the temple towards the beach, which is directly the opposite side. So if we pull up here in this little beachy cave area, we're good. Right. We're going to choose a weapon. I'm going to choose these, <laughs> my magnums. I'm going to walk to onto this area here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump forward and then immediately jump backwards. And it will become clear why I'm doing that. Because this centaur is now active. So we're going to avoid his fireballs. If you jump side to side, you can usually avoid them. Also, when he when he explodes like that, avoid him being near you when he explodes because if his if parts of his body hit you, he'll basically take you out. And that goes for this other guy as well. So he won't come alive just yet. He's he's just chilling. But now we're about to meet Pierre for the final time. I'm going to save my game. But we're going to trigger Pierre and then we're going to go to an area of the room where we will hopefully be able to get him without him getting us. So I'm going to go around this way. Late for the prize giving, He's no? going to be sassy Bill, and awful. Is the taking part which counts. And I'm just going to start blasting him away from here. Okay, Pierre is still alive. We've released the out the centaur outside as well. 
Come on, Pierre, where are you at? Okay, Pierre is dead. Now, if you want all of the kills, you're going to have to kill the centaur outside. But you can just collect the stuff and ignore the centaur. You don't have to kill it. But if you want all of the kills... And just avoid it killing you, basically. Just avoid... <laughs> just don't die. Um, just don't die. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Flying limbs. They will get you killed. So, we're going to take everything from Pierre. Everything that he's got. He's got a piece of the ski on. He's got the magnums and a gold key. We're going to also pick up some items. So we're going to hop up onto one of these blocks. It doesn't matter which. It doesn't matter what side you choose first. It's up to you. But I'm going to choose this side. And then we're going to run to the end and pick up some ammo. Let's get some magnum ammo. And then we're going to go to the other side as well. So we can jump across. get some more ammo lovely and then we're going to use the key and pick up I think it's a med pack in this little balcony area it's quite cool isn't it I mean they just don't make tombs like this anymore do they so we're going to use the gold key that we got from Pierre We gotta drop down. And then we can end the level. Here lies Tahokan, one of the two just rulers of Atlantis, who even after the curse of the continent had tried to keep rule here in these barren other lands. He died without child, and his knowledge has no heritage. Look over us kindly, Tahokan. Congratulations. All right. Tomb of Tahokan. Complete. Well done. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. We are going to be... Moving into a new area, this is the end of the Greece levels. We're going to be going to Egypt. All right. <laughs> so I'll see you in Egypt. Bye.